I'm Jin Yuan. I'm coming to you from Philadelphia in the USA. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to my friends all over the world. Uh, this is episode four of Saturday Life with Jin Yuan, and I have prepared for you a very special thing today. And it's going to be music inspired by the night. And when you think about the night, when it's dark out there and it's quiet, what do you think? Is it, is it peaceful? Or is it a little bit frightening? So composers have made music and being inspired by the night um, and it transforms into all different kinds of characters and today I will bring to you three different kinds of characters that's inspired by the night. And the first one is Andine from Ravel's Gaspar de la Nuit. Originally I was going to play the entire Gaspar for you, but then I realized I would play the Scarborough for you in the episode number two. So if you would like to see Scarborough, you can go back to episode number two and play replay. And so the first piece on Ding is about this water spirit that lives in the lake. And imagine a starry night and it's all quiet and the Ondine is singing a very seductive song and she's in love with a mortal man and she tries to seduce him into the water and the man rejects her and she gets furious she laughs and she cries and then she disappears so that's the first character that's inspired by the night so here is Ravel's ending
So that was the Ongding from Ravel's Gaspar de la Nuit. It's a very special piece and it's considered one of the most challenging works in the piano literature. And I think it's not just in terms of all the fast passages, but in terms of the character and atmosphere that the Ongding and the poem that it brings, brings out from the piano. And the next piece I will play for you is Chopin Nocturne and it's in E flat major and it's opus 55 number two and it's considered one of the later um, later works by Chopin and by then Chopin was very interested in contrapunto box music and you can hear there are so many different layers in this nocturne which as compared to his earlier nocturnes it's such a big contrast and I would just like to um, dedicate this piece to all the mothers um, in the world and you know tomorrow is Mother's Day and I hope this nocturne 
will bring all the joy and thankfulness that we have for our all our wonderful mothers. So here's Chopin Nocturne in E5 major.
That was Chopin's Nocturne, Opus 55, number two in E flat major. Such a beautiful, expressive nocturne. Chopin wrote 21 nocturnes and this was number 16. And I've always been so intrigued by the interwind of, of lines in this particular nocturne. And if you think about the night, you know, the first one is an ending that's very seductive in a, in a starry night. And the second one is a nocturne, um, which is, you know, peaceful, expressive, and passionate. And then the third piece I'm going to play for you is the Arkunik, which is translated for the Arkin, um, by originally by Schubert in a leader, in a song, and then later on transcribed by Liszt for the piano. And the poem is originally um, a poem by Goethe, and it's about a very sick child in the middle of the night and imagine a dark forest in Germany. And the father is on a horseback and the horse is rushing through the forest, trying to get a sick child to the doctor. And in the midst of this journey, the child starts to hallucinate and he sees the broken and he sees, um, he hears the broken. And the father is trying to persuade him that no, it's just the trees, it's the tree branches, it's the wind, but it's the old king that's trying to get a child to come with him. And in the end, when they get to the doctor, the child dies. It's, it's a very extremely tragic, uh, tragic poem. And for the pianist, you would be four different characters. You are the narrators that's describing what's happening, and you are the father, and you're the child, and you are also the Erlkin. So it's a very special piece, and it's also considered one of the most challenging for piano literature, because you will hear the horse, um, the fairy, the rushing of the horse um, um, is the, uh, the octaves. So you'll hear it's the urgency of it. So here is the Erlkin by Schubert, transcribed by Liszt.
El König Elkin from Schubert's song transcribed by Liszt. So that was my third character for music inspired by the night. Um, how is everybody doing in um, the stay-at-home order? Uh, this is my um, maybe 60-something day staying at home. And I just have one question for everyone to leave today's, um, uh, to conclude today's program. That is, where would you like to go? Where would you like to travel to uh, when the lockdown is over? What is your favorite destination to go? Uh, so that ends today's program. And I just want to say thank you for listening. And don't uh, forget to subscribe to my YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. And I will see you next week.